Hey everybody, this is Eidolon Mirage with some Battlefield 1 gameplay on PS4. Today we're going for a medal called Avian Cross with a focus on War Pigeons. The first objective is to play two rounds. The concept of War Pigeons is pretty cool. It's kind of like obliteration in BF4 where there's one element that all players are going for. This can make for some pretty chaotic gameplay. In this version, it's a pigeon that you must pick up and protect for an amount of time. It then delivers a message to your commander, who rains artillery fire down on the enemy position. The concept is really cool, and it's a good way to switch up from full-scale battles like Conquest and Operations. Now, playing two rounds is easy, and it took that long just to figure out what was going on. This is a close quarters game mode, so I decided to run Medic with the 1907 SL Factory and mostly tried to protect others who were fighting for the Pigeon. Since most players just run at the objective into a big clump, I decided to stay back and set up a good defense. I just let my team go for the Pigeon and I protected them from a flank. I found you can also shoot down the Pigeon, which is a pretty cool aspect. The second objective is to win one round. Now that we know what we're doing, this should be feasible. War Pigeons aren't some made-up concept. There were very few ways to communicate in the early 1900s. One of them was with a runner, which you get to experience in the campaign. Pigeons were another option and were used extensively during World War I to deliver messages back and forth between battalions. They were highly praised and some were even awarded medals that honored the work of animals in times of war. The enemy also knew the importance of the carrier pigeon and would even try to shoot them down. One pigeon lost her foot and eye, but still delivered the message and saved a large group of surrounded American infantry. We had a pretty good team this round and we absolutely stomped them. To win the game, you must release three pigeons. They appear on the map, so you gotta just watch and keep moving towards them. Just like the other games, I tried to protect the vicinity of my team as much as possible and let them do the work. The third objective, however, is to deliver five pigeons. Now, in obliteration, you had to physically carry the bomb to the objective and plant it to earn the medal. This one is not set up the same way. Delivering five messages in this game is simply your team delivering the messages collectively. I started off thinking this would take a while and did everything I could to get my hands on that pigeon. Once I did though, I had no idea how the mechanics worked. It turns out that you must remain still for the timer to run down. I had no idea. All these movements I'm making are completely stopping the progress, and I didn't even know why at the time. I just knew you had to be out in the open for the pigeon to fly away. So, after that miserable fail, I just stayed close to my team and played out the rest of the game. And there it is, amidst the chaos, Avian Cross. I hope you guys enjoyed the tactics and tips. Let me know what you think of this game mode down below. I found it to be pretty exciting, but not something I'm going to go back to very often. Like if you like, guys, and subscribe if you like. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the battlefield.